All he had left was a tin box of pellets and a rifle. And the gnomes were getting closer and closer and they were heavily armed. Wow, and then what happened? The gnomes surrounded him. Wow. His chances of survival were getting slimmer. So you know what he did? No, but please tell me. He... Good day folks, welcome back to my channel and as always, thank you so much for watching. As many of you know, when I'm not shooting less lethal videos, I shoot powerful big bore PCP air rifles. Well today I'm bringing you the child of these two worlds, if they ever, you know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Hudson Jet 2 PCP air pistol slash air rifle so this piece of beauty right here with some great features that we'll soon see came out just about seven months ago Guys, allow me one second to thank Pablo, the owner of Airgun One, which is a truly awesome and complete airgun store in West Palm Beach, Florida, for supporting the channel and providing me with this Hatson Jet 2. This one here is now my own, so we'll be seeing a lot more of it in the future. Which reminds me to remind you to subscribe to the channel. That way you won't miss any of my videos and to hit that like button. The main feature of this gun is that you can use it both as a pistol or as a rifle. It comes with this fully adjustable buttstock that you simply click onto the gun and then adjust as you wish. I'll tell you right now that I personally prefer it as a rifle. Just because I feel that the gun is incredibly unbalanced and forward leaning when shooting as a pistol. Look at all this weight. While as a rifle, well, voila. Another very cool feature, especially for those like me who are not crazy about scopes, are these fiber optic flip up sights. And yes, there are three of them.
So this gun comes in three caliber versions, a 177, 22, and 25 caliber. This one is the 25 cal one, and it holds a six round magazine. Of course, that is until your good old friend, Half Circle H Ranch, enlightens you as he usually does uh, with his always resourceful comments and lets you know that this gun also fits a 10 round magazine with no problem at all. So I went out and got me a 10 round magazine and look how it just fits perfectly. And look at that, despite it being so big, it still allows you to see through the fixed sights. And by the way, this is a .177 caliber Hornet pellet, while this is a 25 caliber Hornet pellet. This right here is the safety. And as you can see, it comes suppressor ready. You cock before each shot. Unlike the Jet 1, the Jet 2 has two air cylinders each holding 40 cc's of air and max out at 3625 psi and you get around 30 shots on full tanks so my friends over at cv life sent me this laser torch this one here is a higher quality version which you can feel in the switches and mechanisms you plug this thing in magnetically to charge it but it's also a bit more expensive and I must say that on top of its multi-purpose use, this thing is pretty cool looking too. And you get a 20% discount on Amazon by using the promo code below. And as always, all the links to all the products you see in this video are down in the description below. And finally, there is just one weird thing about this gun, which feels somewhat unsafe. And that is the position of the pressure gauge which you really don't want to look into but anyway let's head back outside and collect some data and some numbers all right folks let's get on with our chrono test we are going to measure the speed of the pellets in feet per second and we will then calculate the power um, today we'll be shooting these hnn field target trophy which weigh 1.30 grams or 20.06 grain. All right, so I shot a few extra shots because I realized I didn't load the first magazine all the way. So, accuracy wise, we have a one inch group, not bad. In terms of penetration, we penetrated the first two and a half gallon plastic water jug all the way, went into the second, and nothing came out of the third, although there is some heavy denting. And of course, this is a PCP or pre-charged pneumatic gun. So to fill up the air, there are several options out there. Uh, the first one, the main one is a compressor like this one. This one was sent to me by Vevor. It's a great compressor, mid price around $400. Um, you absolutely want a compressor when you own PCP guns. Another way of filling the air, this is more of a portable way is this small uh tank if you ask me it's a bit overpriced uh but uh nevertheless this is a, a carbon fiber uh tank that uh, is used to fill the air in the field and finally this very large scuba tank which i personally bought used for 150 dollars um, and i use this to refill my smaller tank or whenever i'm out and i cannot use 
the compressor. Guys, that is it today from us. Thank you so much for watching. Do let me know what you thought about this gun slash rifle. I absolutely fell in love with it the moment I saw it, but I do want to hear your thoughts. And thank you so much for clicking that like button and for subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so yet. I'm going to leave you with this video next. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you at the next video.